Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video, I'm going to be having a look at the Bulls Martin, the Dutch Giant, Clear Macker Darts. These were recently released in the Bulls Darts Germany product launch. If you haven't seen the launch, I'll put a link up to the launch video that they did because it's quite an impressive launch. So, let's check them out. I'm reviewing the 21 gram version, they're 80% tungsten, they're available in 21, 23, 25 gram in steel tip and 20 gram in soft tip and they retail for £57.95. So the darts come in this black and orange cardboard packaging and it's got the hexagon uh, graphic on the box. Inside there's a cardboard tray with a form insert holding all the contents and that's fitted into a rather nifty kind of a rubber and metal point holder quite neat that and they come supplied with short B grip I think the polycarbonate stems and the Martin Kleermacher standard shape B star flights That's fitted with silver points. It's uh, well, quite a sleek looking uh, shape. That um, I'd probably say it's more of a straight barrel style with a taper than anything else. This front half, fairly longish taper, and made up of just very fine grooves basically. But the rest of the dart with the black titanium coating on is certainly more interesting. It's got this honeycomb grip pattern and then it's got these two quite wide and quite deep scallop sections. So very interesting looking dart. So depending on where you're going to hold it, if you're a middle gripper you've got that scallop there and if you're a rear gripper again you've got a scallop. For me personally as a front gripper, it doesn't feel like there's quite enough grip there but uh, I have to see how it is when I come to throw it. And it's fitted with DB grip, short stems and the Martin Clear Maquette standard shape B Star Flights. Nice orange and black design on them. So the darts have got this tapered nose and the front part is basically natural tungsten but some very fine grooves with the black PVD cotton. And then as you move along, you come to the first section of this honeycomb grip which is just like a, a flat hexagonal shape cut through and then with some circular indents in, mid, in the middle but it, it does look rather nice and it looks quite neat when you see it in close up like this and then you move along to the first scallop section fairly deep scallop and then you've got another section of the honeycomb grip again it's all got the black PVD cotton so the part that's been cut out has shown the silvery tungsten, got a, a nice contrast. And you've got another scallop section. And then as you get on the end, you've just got the small groove. And then the smooth section with the Bulls logo and Martin Clearmacher. That looks like it says 180 there. Very fine that. <laughs> I'd never have noticed that if I didn't see it in the close look. But there you go. That's the super close look at the Bulls Martin Clearmacher darts. The darts fit with a silver 30mm point. There's a tip nose, a smooth section at the front of 5mm. Then you've got these fine grooves painted black. That's 8.4mm. Then you've got the section of the honeycomb grip with the PVD cotton. That's 10.9mm and then you've got the scallop and including the groove that's 4.3 millimeters another honeycomb section 10.9 millimeters and then you've got the second scallop also including the groove that's 5 millimeters a tapered smooth section on the end of 7.2 millimeters length is 51.7 millimeters and the widest part is 6.38 millimeters <laughs> Twenty one point three grams. Twenty 
21.33 grams. And 21.37 grams. Full setup, 23 grams. Here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup. And this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. Most of the dart is really quite a low level grip, them hexagon grip pattern it's just not deep enough to be grippy as I would like. So it's really only the scallops that are grippy so 5.5 .5 at most. Yep, <laughs> treble one champion. <laughs> first uh, treble one yes <laughs> I think it's just the color green it just because <laughs> you know I like green I've never mentioned it before but I do like green what the hell's going on I think that oh yeah that's <laughs> that's the one I just threw hit the treble 20 next to the treble one Knock the other one out. It's a silver point, so that's where it'll be. Damn it, I can't get the flight on now. <laughs> um, it's quite a sleek feeling dart, but there's just not enough grip on that front section for me. Um, it almost feels a bit slippy as well because my hands are quite cold and there seems to be getting a few in the treble like as he says as he throws another one in the treble so what do I know it's a brilliant dart <laughs> but no I'm a little bit disappointed with that honeycomb grip because when I seen it I thought it looks great that it should be a nice grip but I'm just not feeling it most of my grip is on that front section but I'm getting a little bit on the honeycomb part but it just doesn't feel that grippy. I think it just seems to be more for sure. Um, nothing wrong with that, I suppose, because the dart does look nice, but like I say, I'm just a little bit disappointed because it, it's, it's so shallow cut. I thought I'd be feeling all them little hexagonal edges and the little bits in between, but not. Nope. But if you don't like a lot of grip, it does feel quite a nice dart to throw, nice and sleek. Right, I'm throwing it exactly from that first gallop here from the middle. Um, so you get a little bit of grip because it's got like a big wide groove basically. And for middle grippers, it also acts as a nice reference point. It's not the kind of a scallop where you, you kind of struggle to release it because it's basically your thumb and your finger is kind of covering it. I managed to get a hundred. I didn't know that one had gone in. <laughs> I think overall though it's just a nicely uh, styled shape of barrel but it's all down to personal preference how much grip you need and as a front gripper there's just not enough there for me personally but quite nice from the middle scallop so middle grippers should be happy enough, I think. Sounds like somebody's playing music out there. Mm, that's surprising. Didn't fly too bad through the air from the rear grip. And again, I'm holding it with my thumb or should I say the scallop in the center of my thumb 
and my forefinger kind of across the scallop section there but as we all know I'm not a natural rear gripper so it kind of feels a bit alien he says has he got another treble but it is actually flying through the air quite nice so definitely if you're a middle or rear gripper you've got a nice reference point with them scallops Hit another treble from the rear grip <laughs> Yep, should be fine for natural rear grippers. Overall, I think it's gonna be fine for most grip, but because of the scallop sections, middle grippers and rear grippers are getting a nice reference point and also a little bit of extra grip, but through quite nice from the front. It's just for me, not enough grip there. So there you go, that's the Bulls Martin Clean Market darts. Um, like I say, it's a really nice looking dart and it's got a very nice sleek style to it. Um, it's just personally for me, not enough grip. I think it'll work whether you're a front, middle or rear gripper. And I think overall it's a nice dart to throw, but guess it just depends on your personal preference regarding grip levels so if you're a front gripper and you don't need a lot of grip give it a try definitely middle and rear grippers if your grip falls where the scallop are you've got a little bit of extra grip there and it actually felt quite nice throwing it from there so again just depends on what you like but like I said it's a nice start just uh, a little bit disappointed with that honeycomb grip not being a bit more grippy I think if it was cut just a little bit deeper uh, it'd just be a nice feeling grip but as it is it just kind of feels a bit flat but there you go I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a closer look at them if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so and I'll see you on the next one happy darting